Round number four. Let's talk about fucking murder cows. Murder, murder cows. cows. Cons, you want to walk us through the story? Yeah. This is really kind of sad if you're mm. a lover of animals. Oh. I think Kate's a little upset about this one. No, man. I crush burgers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, Islamic State militants in Iraq use cows strapped with explosive vests in a recent bombing operation. At least two cows were seen with explosive vests in the southeastern Iraqi village of Al Asal. That was not pronounced correctly. How am I saying this one? Al Al Isla. Al Isla. Sorry. Where they were then remotely detonated when they were close to homes, a provincial police commander said. The cows, which could cost more than twelve hundred dollars each, were killed and homes were damaged. That's a cheap cow. By the way, yes, that's a cheap cow. And I mean, over in Iraq, that could be a hot patootie. That could be a hot number. Oh, I think that's very expensive in Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, No humans were believed to be harmed in the incident. Okay. First of all, you're a cow. You're just yeah, right? cruising through bitch, the day. I'm a cow. You're like, hey, bitch, I'm a cow. Can we play that song at the end? Yeah, bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I'm not a cat. I don't say meow. Uh, but you're just you're having a nice day. Mm-hmm. You're munching on some grass. Suddenly, a couple Taliban dudes come upon you. You're like, what the fuck is this? You're looking. They're strapping something to you, and you realize you're like, oh. You think you no. finally made it as a horse. You're right. like, they're finally gonna <laughs> yep. ride me. They're finally. I'm bigger. They're not I can the bad way that roads. some people over there tend to do. And they're like, they named me. They start calling me Doja Cat. This is awesome. <laughs> and then, so this, but also, I just feel like cows, though. Like I can see strapping one to a horse, slapping that horse's butt, and letting it gallop somewhere, like right into whatever. That's very dark. Right. But a cow, like a cow's not going to be like, all right, here we go. Like, huh? Yeah, train a cow. I'm ve- yeah, <laughs> try and train a well, cow. You said you can train any animal, right? Uh, no, not okay. any animal. I did have a cat for a while that I was training how to sit and roll over, and it was awesome. Yeah. 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 But, but I mean, but I think to- what you said earlier, I, I feel like cows are expensive. Dude, I don't feel like they have expendable cows. <laughs> The whole move is just strange. Also, I feel like if I was over there and I saw a cow with a vest strapped to it, I'd be like, hey, that's no good. And I'd slowly walk away from it because yeah. I'd still get away from it in time. I just I don't understand that at all. Because then you got to make it blend in. You got to put inert vest on everybody else, like essentially. Mm-hmm. So it makes it look like you're just maybe the people think that this is a super woke farmer that yeah. has like cooling vest. Maybe that's what it is. It's designed to look like a cooling vest. Like, wow, these well, cows have been suffering heat stroke for a long time. We know that obviously they've been doing vehicle born IEDs and also strapping them on themselves uh, in tons of different cases in both Iraq and Afghanistan and, and around the Middle East. Um, but for animals, that's also been a thing. In 2013, a Taliban suicide bomber riding on a donkey killed several NATO troops in Afghanistan because I feel like you don't really see that coming. I feel like you're like, huh. But we also, they also used to tell us to look out for carcasses on the side of the road. Big yep. time. They that would hide one, yeah. bombs in and like you, a bloated donkey corpse. Do you know the reason why they did that? Why? Because dog handlers were really hesitant a lot to allow their dogs to go up to carcasses. Right. So in order to get past like IEDs and shit like that, like for me, I imagine myself if there's a dead buzzard or there's a dead animal on the side of the road that has an IED on it. Naturally, the dog's instinct is going to go check out what stinks really bad. Mm, like right. They're going to go smell it anyways. Yeah. So as the handler, I'm not thinking that there's a bomb in there. Right. When that first yeah. starts happening, you're just pulling your dog away, always pulling to it because it's dead right mm. i just the whole thing is just bizarre but i it got me thinking too has Peter heard about this because i feel like that might get <laughs> that them to mobilize the head over there could turn the tide of the war a couple billboards with pamela anderson <laughs> they don't in the want to deal with those crazies got full nip the nips out to save the donkeys that'd be, on, could that'd be, be awesome. i feel like they'd be captivated pam anderson the goat yeah so i feel like something could could really happen there um, but the Times also suggested that this recent attack was a sign that the Islamic State wanted to preserve the lives of its members who might otherwise die in a suicide bombing. So they're so short on personnel that they're actually using these cows. Cause Bring me like, another suicide bomber. We're, we are out. Yeah. Fucking, we are straight we're out, out, buddy. We're fucking, fresh Carl out. said no, man. Carl's out. He said absolutely not. <laughs> right. And this all came amid an assessment from the DOD Inspector General warning that ISIS could be resurfacing in the light of the U.S.'s decision to withdraw troops from Syria. And I feel like that's a no shit. They're like cockroaches. They're going to keep coming out, but they're definitely hurting if they're using cows as their suicide bombers at this point. Do you think that they go with like short straw? Like who's going to be a suicide bomber? Oh, yeah. (laughs) I would say no, because I do think that those people believe their lives begin after death. So that's why it's surprising that they're running out of people to do this, because usually these people are running at the chance to be a suicide bomber and seen as this hero among their people. 
But that maybe could also be a sign that they're getting a little disillusioned. Possibly. Like, ah, you know what? Things didn't turn maybe out so great for Kenny. Great. You know, maybe. Yeah, maybe they get some internet and they s- discover that there's a whole world out there. Yeah. Well, they say there's still about 14,000 to 18,000 ISIS members in Iraq and Syria. Um, and the figure includes up to 3,000 foreigners. But yeah, other than that, yeah, I don't know. I take the cows as a good sign, kind of. Maybe people see them ambling over. They grab their buns. <laughs> The like, patties are about to be flying. <laughs> so definitely Lunch. good. All of a sudden, the fucking cow blows up, and Salt Bay shows up and starts like salt sprinkling it. And it and then the, like, <laughs> All right, let's no. move on to round five before we say anything we really regret. Truly. Mm-hmm. 